fun. This is all in fun. Everything you see on the show today is all in fun. I tell all of us, including myself, every day to sit back and relax. Enjoy some time in the islands. That's what we're going to do today. I invite you, especially today, I'm going to show you two videos. I'm going to invite you to sit back, relax. You're allowed to laugh. You're allowed to watch and ask what the hell is going on here. You're allowed to do all of that in a world where oftentimes we're told you can't do that. You're not allowed to do that. Don't do this. We're going to sit back. We're going to watch some things that recently happened on cruise ships across different cruise brands. And we're going to laugh together. We're going to talk about it. You're going to see my reactions to these videos live and then we're going to have this conversation of, is it still okay to do some of these things? Is it still okay to laugh at some things that sometimes we're told we're not allowed to laugh at anymore? Is it allowed? Are we allowed to have fun? We all need it. And we all need some time in the islands. Let's go there right now on Island Time. A big happy Thursday to all you Islanders. Thank you for stopping by the show today. This is Island Time and I am Derek. We are here to have fun. It's time to sit back, drop your anchor for just a little while. Everything on your mind, on your heart, the pressure on your shoulders, everything going on. All of us work so hard. We have so much going on. Drop it. Drop it for just a little while. Sit down. Be prepared to laugh and to have a healthy discussion of fun and what we can do and can't do on cruise lines. Let's take some time to relax in the islands together. Amanda and I recently cruised with some of our closest friends on board the Carnival Breeze over New Year's. We had a great time. And the conversation came up of fun on board and what fun means. It's subjective. It means different things to different people, to different age ranges, to different interests. But we talked about some of the days gone by. <laughs> and I sound old. I guess I'm getting there, right? Some of the days gone by when you could do certain things on a cruise ship, when you could have certain activities on a cruise ship, and it was considered fun. Nobody was offended. No one uh, went to guest services to complain. No one threatened to withdraw their business or their patronage because a certain event took place. And we enjoyed that conversation. We had a lot of laughs about different things we had seen over the years. It was fun to see that Quest came back, an adults-only game for Carnival. It was there on our cruise. It will be on yours. But when I got back home, I saw these two videos of people at sea just having fun. And I thought, how nice is it to see in a world where sometimes we have to think about, we do, be honest, we have to think about what we can do, what we can't do in front of people. And sometimes we forget that we go on this cruise vacation to let loose, to let our hair down, to relax. We don't have to be the star of the show. We don't have to be part of the show. We can watch the show. We can laugh. That just happened to Danielle Skelton, who, thank goodness, recorded this video and she shared it with us all. She hopes it goes viral and maybe it will, but it just reminded us of how much fun can be had. Let's let's play the video. Let's play the video, okay? Don't get offended by it. Here it is. Here's the reaction. Here we go. It's a competition. Several guys out there, all shapes and sizes, backgrounds. There's women setting down. I can see that. Women setting down. What are the guys doing there in the middle? They're like, yeah, we're done with that. We're gonna get up. Oh, there's a shake it. Did that did that guy's pants just come down? Wearing some sort of Speedo or something. I don't even know what that thing is. Dancing, moving to the groove. The women are having fun. Oh my gosh. Oh, they're obvious at sea. Look at the wake in the background. You can see that. I'm looking, I'm looking past everything to the background. Look at that. How about that? Does that look familiar to anyone? Does that look familiar? Listen to this. Listen to this. Several told Danielle in the comment section of her video, oh my gosh. Royal Caribbean is looking like a carnival ship. Is that okay? Is it okay? Here's what's going on. The sexiest man competition is going on. And yes, there are people that were, look like they're chiseled out of marble. 
muscles everywhere, doing one arm push ups, one arm. If there was a donut down there, I might, I might go ahead and get on the floor. If you had a chocolate covered donut, I'd try to do the one arm push up in hopes that I would fall on my face, fall on the donut, I would eat the donut. Otherwise, I'm probably not. Do, I'm not going to enter into one arm push up competition. But there's bigger guys. Uh, it's all about personality, right? And here they are shaking it for everyone to see. And of course, the people that are watching, uh, it was optional to attend the event. No one said, "Let's go, let's go." You have to go. Keep moving forward. It's optional. The women there are judges. They're laughing. They're having fun. It looks awfully similar to an activity Carnival Cruise Line had for decades, the hairy chest contest, which you know sometimes men had hair on their chest, hair on their backs, no hair on the chest or backs, bald. Personality contest, all about having fun. That video was on the Allure of the Seas in December of 2022. And it captures people having fun. Is there anything wrong with it? Carnival's taken away that hairy chest contest. They said we are a family cruise line. We don't do that stuff anymore. Royal Caribbean obviously is still having a competition close to it. And I have to ask you, is it okay? Is that type of fun okay? Yes or no? Let us know in the comment section below. That's where your input, your opinions are supposed to be. Put them there for you and me. Let's see what you have to say. Do you think this sexy man competition is okay? Would you attend it? It's all in fun, right? Video number two, Miley Cyrus. Miley Cyrus on a cruise ship. Well, I never thought that I would say that. I never thought I would say that I'm coming in like a wrecking ball. But that's video number two is Miley Cyrus, or at least a cruise director that looks like Miley Cyrus, performs this skit. Let's watch this together. This is from CC underscore 808. It's Georgia, the cruise director. Here she is. She's coming in like a wrecking ball, looking like Molly Cyrus. She's in the atrium. Look at her in the chair, going round and round, singing. Guest, if you watch the audio on this video, and I can't provide it because I'd be violating all kinds of copyrights and licensing agreements, I don't have it. But Georgia is a Carnival Cruise director who awfully looks like Miley Cyrus. I agree with her. And she had a skit of coming through like a wrecking ball, a fun activity that some would say, oh my goodness, where did Georgia's clothes go? She should be wearing more. She should not compare herself to someone who's in Hollywood, but it's all in fun. Those who are around that activity, you can see in the video, they're laughing, they're smiling, they're having fun. It's okay. It's okay to have fun on a cruise ship still. My question to you Islanders, is this okay? Is this type of fun okay? We're not gonna get political, that's not why we're here. We're here because we love cruising, cruise news, cruise experiences, and I just shared two experiences with you. The question that I'm asking for your answer is, are these activities okay? Are they fun? Would you engage in them? Let us know in the comment section below while you're down there. If you have not subscribed to this channel, in this community, you are missing out on the fun. Hit that subscribe button, ring the bell to receive notifications. When we upload content, you will be notified and you can choose when you want to watch the fun. If you enjoyed the show today, give us a thumbs up. We'd love to see that thumbs up. We hope to see your comments in the comment section below. Of course, we have our Facebook page. Make sure you're joined there and we will be back tomorrow talking about the latest in cruising and cruise news and maybe crazy videos right here on Island Time.